Hello and welcome everyone to the War Thunder game. My name is Iron Rifle and in today's video, well as I did promise, I will be going after some planes I did review previously. For today's video I will be focusing on the British, uh, British fighters. Uh, from the tier 2 the Hurricane Mark 1, then the tier 3 Hurricane Mark 2, then we got both of the Boomerangs, Boomerang Mark 1 and Mark 2, and the Spitfire Mark 1. Those are the aircrafts I did review uh, in my previous video, well except the Hurricane Mark 2 of course, because it's a tier 3, but the tier 2 and uh, all those 3 tier 4s I did review, so just as the quick reminder, I will pull up again the stats they get, the, the scores they get, and let's see. So, as it was in the previous video, vid videos that you did see, uh, the best aircraft from this lineup I am choosing right now is the Boomerang Mark 1. So I will try to use him as, uh, well, I will try to use him. Uh, because it's a very good aircraft and it's a very good money earner but my main focus right now will be on the Spitfire Mark 1 and the Hurricane Mark 1 uh, tier uh, tier 4 and the tier tier 2 aircrafts as you can see they both did score well they did place fifth uh, in the comparison scoring with the Hurricane Mark 1 being only tier 2 uh, 24 points and the Spitfire Mark 1 scoring 36 points in the in the comparison so not that uh, far off from the Boomerang Mark 2 and not that uh, well the Spitfire is above the Boomerang Mark 2 uh, but Mark 1 well very close 4 points uh, here is a bit more with the Hurricane and the Boomerang Mark, Mark 1. There is the more uh, more difference in the in the points, uh, 16 to be exact. But let's see how well or how bad I will do. And after that, I will talk just a little bit about uh, how do I feel you should play each 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 of the aircraft. So. And you might wonder what what there is the gladiator and the swordfish doing in my lineup. Well, I do need to fill the, out those garage slots, those crew slots, with some some of the aircrafts. Uh, so not to going too high, I decided I will try and I will uh, go with my luck getting to the uh, tier four or tier five maximum game. So that's why my lineup consists up to tier four aircrafts. So. Let's 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 have some game. Let's see how well or how bad will probably the second one, second option. Uh, I will do in that games, and after that I will talk a little bit about each and every aircraft and how do I feel you should handle it. So let's go to to the battle. And I did get myself into the domination over Stalingrad. Well, starting off, the British fighters are uh, maybe not that great in the dog fights, in the turn fights with the with the other aircrafts, as the Japanese are. But that would be what I will be doing right here. Well, initially I will try to to hunt some bombers. I am starting with the Hurricane Mark One. I, I did set fuel ammo to five minutes. Well, purely because well. The, the fuel amount, I was saying that the best uh, best to do is uh, 10 minutes but right now uh, I do feel that the 5 minutes is more than enough in arcade battles uh, because uh, whenever you get hit and whenever you are on fire it doesn't really matter uh, how many fuel you got because you will be <laughs> you will be dead before you will get to, to, to the airfield the only only uh, only option you can uh, you can hope for is whenever you will be very very close to to the airfield, and then you will be just well you can hope for uh, for a safe landing. But without it, well, I would say 
go for for five minutes for five minutes fuel okay we do have the F2A and I am after some of those bomber bombers and I do think well it is pretty evenly matched game so Well, I do believe I do have a fair chance in here doing something right. Okay, my initial target was the was the bombers. Well, but right now I am a bit of alone in here. Well, my first kill. Oh, my second kill trying to escape those guys that were chasing me okay right now I can deploy flaps and start chasing after those guys okay flaps up let me see what's out there Yanker 87, Nimrod P62. Well, I will go that way because three targets right here. And I should be reloading, so eight seconds, thank God. And I do have a well trained crew in here. Well, he was landing either way, so. Not a good kill, but but a kill. Okay, raising my flaps and going after the Nimrod. Well, it's always a target to to practice on, <laughs> especially if he tries to land. Yeah, no matter me flying in here. Just go and shoot through me. And nothing to say. Well, okay, I won't be going after this F6F. He do have problems of his own. Instead, I will try to go after the... Okay, SU2 is down. So, F2A. Raising the flaps. And despite his heart tried to avoid me, I did manage to, to get a kill in here. And uh, remember, I am flying only tier 2 aircraft <laughs> in this game. I am not looking on the scores right now, or yet. Okay, the G50. Check 
I'm checking my surroundings if there's anyone I should be especially worried. Okay, I head here <laughs> just for the fun, raising my flaps and going over the beat where the proper action is. Okay, deploying my flaps. And I did get the fighter rescuer for that. So let's go after this hurricane. And the Hurricane Mark 1 is down. Okay, I'm going a bit of ahead of myself here, raising the flaps. I should reload. So let's reload right now. Okay, the MC200 A20G. Okay, so it's a tier 5 game then. I will go after the it's MC200 because he's going for A. So if he decided to, well, if he will decide to land, I will have a good opportunity to kill him. Well, he's going just after ground targets. And yet another critical hit. So another kill. Okay, I should raise my flaps. And no, I will stay on with the flaps. Okay. The G50 was punished by for going after me and now the SU2 ok guys diving and he will pick up a lot of speed into that dive someone took out the blind. Good choice for the for the domination map to go with your bomber. No, and he did crashed. Well I don't know or I don't care. B twenty six closing it well they are dominating over B. Now I will be going after the pea shooter. Well, <laughs> that was very close pursuit, or short pers pursuit, very short one. Okay, I-16. Well, that would be a very difficult opponent because he can turn as hell.
Well, I was the last one to damage him, so... BB1. Can I at least damage him? No, he's too far away. Okay, I will reload right now. Because uh, there are some of the... P39Q. I won't be standing here alone. Tank of this Cobra and someone else got him. Yet another pea shooter who was trying to ram someone and he did succeed in it. Okay. Will the G50 pay the price of capping by dying from my hand? Yes, he will. That's the price for not reloading at the right time. I was in the perfect spot for this last three. trying to get our hurricane And I do get the final blow, well, that, <coughs> and the survivor. Okay, let's see about the scores right now. Okay, the scores speaks for themselves. <laughs> 15 kills, no loses on my part. Okay. 51,000 uh, credits, 36,000 experience. The survivor for 5,000, 5,000 for the hero fighter, and the final blow, well, a good game. And remember, I was flying only the Hurricane Mark 1, which did place on the 5th fifth, uh, fifth slot, or the 5th place, sorry, in the, in the comparison, getting only 24 points in total I'm sorry for this 19 points but uh, it was uh, whenever I was deciding to count the additional equipment or not and as I did decided to count them uh, so the 24 score point is going for uh, for it uh, as you remember I did play a very good game a uh, couple of days ago with my boomerang mark 1 it was the replay I did post it on the uh, on the on the game on the channel sorry on the on my channel and as you can see it was a tier 4 aircraft uh, which did score 40 points and I did get like 16 kills in it in that one game 
Well, right now in my Hurricane Mark 1, I did score also, uh, well, 15 kills, so one kill short, but it's a 16 points difference. Well, it's not that bad, uh, bad of the difference, but to be perfectly honest with you, I don't believe that those aircrafts, the Boomerang Mark 1 and the Hurricane Mark 1, uh, will get uh, the same... Uh, the same the same points and the, the same uh, the same flight flight model and that's what pretty much makes the game right now the flight models so let's get back to to the garage so my opinion about the uh, British line up to tier 4 Starting on the tier uh, tier two, as you did see, my turn time uh, in here in the row stats is 22.1 seconds, and I must say, with the deployed flaps, uh, with the very sharp turn, as you did see a couple of those moments in the uh, in the battle, I was able to outturn uh, some of the of the lower tier aircraft, some of the American pea shooters. And they do get the turn time of 16 seconds, so that's six seconds uh, more, or sorry, less than I have in the Hurricane Mark One. So that's just for the uh, for the comparing. I don't think that the Hurricane do have the proper flight model already in the game, but how you should. Uh, should fight those uh, those aircraft with the uh, the Hurricane Mark One and Mark Two because well they are pretty much the the same thing. Well, the turn time on the Hurricane Mark Two what I well I don't believe it will be uh, 23.7 seconds. But again, it needs to be checked. It needs to be confirmed. They do look pretty much the same. Well, I do have the rockets uh, on the Hurricane Mark II, so that's why those uh, rocket pylons are in here and on the other other side. But besides that, they are pretty much the same aircraft, so a very good aircraft. As you did see, I did score 15 kills in the uh, in this battle. I did score 16 kills in the Boomerang Mark I. And the other day I did play the game uh, with the Boomerang uh, when I was scoring uh, 17 kills, I believe, but I wasn't recording it, sadly. So how you should uh, supposed to play the, the British up to tier 4? You should play them as the great, great dogfighters compared with the Japanese Air Force, who are the, well, the name Zero comes from the Zero Gravity Fighter. Uh, so the British uh, British Air Force is pretty much the same thing. You should get yourself into the turn fights because you can outturn almost uh, any aircraft in the game. As for the durability of those aircraft, well, as you did see, I did take a couple of shots from the from the Air Cobra at the at the end of the game and they wrecked me pretty badly so you do need to sorry you need to be very uh, very careful about the enemies with the cannons because those planes cannot take the cannon fire very well they are able to withstand some of the uh, seven point uh, something millimeter machine guns with the 12 point, well, try to avoid them. Well, try to avoid uh, any fire going towards you. But again, I do think they are pretty durable for its tier. Pretty fun to fly for its tier. Very maneuverable. Very, uh, very good turners. Maybe not that good of the of the climbers. Uh, but this is the well. You do pay with the uh, rate of climb when you're going with the turn fights uh, or the or the turn turner aircraft so how you should play them play them as the dogfighter play them as a turner 
get yourself into the turn fights, deploy the flaps and do some crazy maneuvers to, to get in front of your uh, of your enemy. Like I did in the movie, uh, in the in the video, uh, in the mission, sorry, uh, in the mission uh, back in the in the few seconds ago, I did uh, reverse in some situations. Well, this uh, I'm still learning how to how to properly do it, and I'm still learning the aircrafts. And whenever I will be ready, and I will be ready to share all my knowledge and all my uh, flying experience with you, I will definitely do it, just to show you how to fly, and how I am doing it, because well, looking from the uh, from my channel and all the videos I am uploading, it looks like I am uh, just killing everything uh, on my path, scoring like 15 kills a mission. Well, it's not entirely true. Well, I am trying to do my best. Not to get my, uh, myself into the situation where I will be overwhelmed by enemies. But most of the of it is, well, you might say it was my crew. Well, this crew, yeah, I do invest some of the, of the gold into it. But it's not maxed out yet. Not maxed out the reload speed. Not, in, not the pilot. So it's, I would say it's an average crew. But most of the... Uh, of my videos and those crazy 15 16 kills missions uh, I would say I was uh, a bit luckier than the uh, than the my enemy uh, my enemy pilots but yet again you do need some some luck to to win the game and to dominate the game okay guys again that would be it for today uh, I am sorry for not releasing the videos uh, that regularly. I was, uh, uh, I w it was used to, but as I did tell you, uh, my workload did change a bit. I do have a bit less time for doing the videos. I am hoping to change it in the next uh, couple of weeks. I believe two or three weeks. Uh, it will change again, and I will have more time, but. That will be it for today. Well, today I did cover the Hurricane Mark 1. Uh, maybe, just maybe, I will do the similar video onto the Spitfire Mark 1. But, well, they are pretty much in the same aircraft, with the Spitfire being a slightly better turn fighter and slightly better uh, climber than the Hurricane Mark 1. So, with the Spitfire, I might do another video uh, for, for just for this aircraft. Like, I, well, I was hoping to cover all of those aircrafts in the in the one mission, but again, my luck did prove me wrong. So more work for me, more videos for you. Uh, but yeah, let's finish finish it off right now. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, like the video if you like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel and see you and i hope to see you next time and iron rifle out